Rufus. Hi. Welcome to Uncle Studio in your Very report. nice. Very nice job playing with you guys. Uh, with you and uh, Steve and Yeah, it's a good trio. Yeah, I like man. playing with those guys. You guys are gigging a lot together, right? Yeah, quite a lot recently. Yeah. Are you recording an album or anything? I think so. I think okay. we got to. Yeah, it's a good band. Sounded like good. Tell me about uh, tell us about your bases and the difference between the lightweight and the the normal one. Well, um, well, this was Travis's, right? Yeah, but we don't like to talk about that as I stole it from him. You know, and the police are still looking for the person who broke into his apartment. Uh, yeah, this is like a really old exotic. I don't know how many years old this one is, but it's definitely from back in the day, you know. And uh, it, it plays great, and I really like it. But because it was so old, and I felt it had done a lot of service on the road, I wanted to kind of keep it, um, you know, just, just kind of really as a base to play at home, sure. you know, or, or in town. Um, and it's also quite, it's, it's, this is a little bit over 10 pounds. Okay. And I wanted to get something that was a bit lighter, um, just because, you know, when you're flying and you've got a gig bag, that extra pound or so of weight, you know, because I just wanted to get it down to under nine pounds. So um, this one is, I guess, sort of a semi-prototype. And, uh, you know, I was hanging out with Toshio uh, uh, at the workshop and we were talking about ideas to make the bass lighter without sacrificing the tone. So we started with that, and then the other thing I wanted to do was um, experiment with a different bridge. Sure. Just, you know, really just out of curiosity, it's a simpler bridge, and if we were sort of going for just, you know, a slightly different bass, you know, we're like, let's try another design. So we went with this, which I think is a Type, uh, type B, Type B, B, right? And aluminum. Yeah, yeah. And, and so this was kind of a cool move. What is? What do you hear any difference between the string through and the non-string through? Honestly, I mean, yeah, because this doesn't have the string through. I, I, I don't. I don't think it makes a lot of difference. Okay. Um, and the neck also is very comfortable on this one. Um, we reduced the, you know, the size of the neck on the back, mm -hmm. so it's just a little more. I've got fairly small hands, so I always notice that the base neck is kind of chunky, you know. But we didn't want to take it back, you know, obviously too much and lose tone again or stability, sure. you know. Um, so that's something else I noticed when I picked this up today. Actually, I was like, wow, this neck's kind of a bit more meaty on this one, mm -hmm. you know, and. So yeah, and I think we put it on the scale earlier, and it was, I think the difference was like almost a pound in weight we, wow. we shaved off, which is pretty amazing, actually. It's so bridge, and a bridge well, uh, yeah, the body is like lighter old. I think it might even be slightly, I don't know if it's a hair thinner, too. Um, yeah, it's, I think the prototype right? is uh, about three millimeters. Super yeah, comfortable. It guitar. seems to just fit, you know, like if you're sitting down and playing, right? And you're, you know, if you're just up here, it's very easy to play stuff. You know, you, it just, it feels, good against the body and the cutaway is just kind of right, you know. Um, and the other thing was the B. It's still got some nice kind of... You know, it's just got a nice bit of rasp, but it's still got that nice body to it, you know. Yeah, and you heard, you know, when we were playing with the trio stuff, um, you know, when I was playing stuff on the... Um, it's just got a nice kind of like grunt to it, you know, it doesn't sound too thin to me, so, yeah, and I don't know, you know, it just also, as I've got more comfortable playing this one, mm -hmm. you know, I'm kind of getting more comfortable with getting sound out of it, you know, and understanding just how to make it, right. you know, even just, it's not even, I mean, I like the, the I do like these Anguilar pickups, I do think they have, I don't know, they just, I like the tone of them, you know, mm -hmm. um, and the thing I like about playing this instrument is you don't really need to do a lot from here, you can do a lot with your hands, you know. Right. So, I mean, you notice when we were filming today, like a, we did like a, you know, jazz thing with a swing time. And, uh, you know, if you're playing just. Yeah, you were playing up, up in the neck. Right, it's much round, but you, if you're back here. Yeah. Right, but then. It's really like amazing how much tone you get out of it without touching any right. of this, you know? And then if you do, you know, what I've started to do more is try and get more of a, 
old school thing out of this. So I'm using the front pickup, you know, one of the things we did today, you know. With the... kind of like you're almost like a P bass kind of thing yeah, and then if you yeah. if you open the tone up right Definitely jazz. yeah you know it's, it's really cool you know but it's, it's got like some you know it I'm getting away from just using the back pickup on this instrument I'm really trying to make it do everything you know because just Do you leave that thing? I sometimes have like the, the mid I'll boost sometimes. Okay. Honestly, I have the treble again pretty yeah, far you have back. It pretty cut off, yeah. The bass is pretty much yeah, the I center. Just, I just don't need a lot of that. And the bass is there. Sometimes I'll, I mean, I'll, you know, obviously lose some output. But if I am. Um, On oh, passive mode? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, the passive thing is cool. You know, I mean. You know, it's got it's still got a good, you know, it's a good yeah. sound to it. Um yeah, the tone controls and everything still works. Yeah, it's, it's just you do miss, you know. Yeah. You know, this it just I definitely think this bass works really well in active mode, you know. Even if you're not doing a lot with it, you know, just uh, you can have just like you don't I don't think you need a lot of bass boost, at least not for me. So, if I have it like this is just, you can see, it's a tiny amount of boost, right? Yeah, 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 just yeah. that mid dialed in. You know, it just speaks. Yeah, a little more there. Yeah. So the yeah. Side. yeah, and I, I've experimented with sort of. Uh, I, I'm not sure which I even prefer. Maybe that's clearer. It's pretty subtle though, you know? Right? It, but it, I never want it to sound like obviously active. You know what I mean? Yeah, I don't want it to sound bright, you know? Um, yeah, you know what I mean? So, but, you know, I'm definitely liking the way this one feels and, um, and this one, you know, is obviously great, but it's, like I said, just the weight thing alone, right. you know. Um, More of an in-town studio. Yeah. Type of bass for yeah, you. and you know, and plus I like the color. I think this was the first time, like this color was. I'm not sure if this was the first time this was made available or not, but it was like I think a newer color too. And I, color. yeah, it's kind of what surf green kind of thing, right? And I'm a big fan of green bases, so I think my bases will continue to be this color <laughs> with you guys. So that's it. Yeah, that's cool. I think what I can tell you. Any other things you want to mention with your uh, well, um, tour, um, clinics? Yeah, I'm going to be playing with Down to the Bone, which is uh, like an acid jazz kind of funk band. It's sort of influenced by kind of some of the 70s kind of funk and jazz sure. stuff, you know, like Herbie Hancock's things. And uh, we're out at some festivals in the U.S. over the spring and summer, and I lead that band. Um, so that'll be pretty fun. I'm doing a bunch of stuff in town, so that's just like check my Facebook page. Uh, and I also do lessons as well, so I have a bunch of students who study with me via Skype and privately. And uh, you can get in touch with me. Uh, my website's rufusbase.com or rufusphilpot.com. They're both. You can get in touch with me and hit me up on Facebook too, because the best place to check out about gigs. Cool. Well, thank you very much. Yeah. Awesome. Right on.